Okay, today is December the 1st, 2016, and right now at 9.30 p.m. in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 50 degrees. Now, the relative humidity is 41%. We have a barometer reading of 29.97 inches, and the dew point is 27 degrees. And today it was sunny. We had a lot of chemtrail haze in the skies uh, because of uh, this moisture moving through the area. Uh, we have some a lot of things going on here. Uh, first of all, down here we have a, a giant thunderstorm system uh, being blown apart. We can see the blast pattern right up here, and we can see the shock waves in the visible light map. Let's go ahead and take a look at that first. Uh, right here, this is the East Pacific water vapor loop, and we can see what happens here over a seven and one half hour period. This is a very large thunderstorm that's was uh, isolated previously. We can see the big a semi-circle uh, built around this storm to prevent this uh, moisture field here from, from uh, feeding that uh, system of thunderstorms. All right, so what happens here, we can see the blast pattern. This is targeted with microwave, and uh, we can see that obvious blast pattern. Let's go ahead and look at this in the uh, infrared loop. We can see a large hole right there develop at the very beginning. And a very large blast wave that's all the way around the edge. And then the entire system just dissipates. It sort of disintegrates. Uh, let's look at next at the uh, visible light map. And we can see the shock waves right here on this side and out right over here. Now on this side, we'll just watch that for a few loops. Especially right here, we can really see that well-defined blast pattern at that shock wave. When they heat the core of this system with a microwave, we have rapid expansion. The water vapor in this uh, uh, thunderstorm uh, rapidly expands, and we have this shock wave that uh, expands out radially from the core, and that's the uh, that's water vapor. All right. And again, we can see that hole. This is where one of the hits right there. That was a pretty much the center of uh, one uh, target area right there. All right, let's go look at the uh, the big map. Uh, well, first of all, we can see that there's uh, high pressure right here, and everything is walling up. We have a sort of a northeasterly flow of, of tropical moisture right here, which is just walling up right where this uh, area of high pressure is being installed, right off of Southern California, which is just right up here. Also, we have a blast pattern right through here. Uh, these thunderstorms are being nipped in the bud all through here. There's a, a clear blast pattern all through this area. All right, here is the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. And uh, we have a jet stream flow, which is diving down, and then everything is just stopping right here. We've got high pressure that is being installed uh, to block this flow. We have a rapidly developing Hurricane force storm right right there. This is generating 35 foot swells right up in the uh, Gulf of Alaska. And we have this uh, stationary upper level low pressure system right over Hawaii. We can see that transmitter outline right there that is preventing any, anything, uh, all this uh, moisture uh, from, from getting anywhere near the core of that uh, system. Some of that is wrapping around and trying to get into the low pressure vortex, but there is a uh, a uh, a channel right here, which is uh, just back turned on. Okay, there we go. So we've got this low pressure system, which is uh, surrounded by hot air from a from a, a transmitter, forcing descending air into this area to isolate this system, and and we do see that some of this right here is getting into the uh, center of that vortex. And they are trying to stop that right here. We can see that channel for one frame, which uh, stops that flow, but they're having a hard time uh, isolating that. They've got their hands full here. We've got uh, wind, very strong winds forecast for 
Southern California, we can see that uh, right in this area, we've got uh, clockwise rotation. There's some uh, counterclockwise rotation going on right, right through here. Let's look at the uh, rainbow map and we can see the tremendous outflow right all through here, which is causing this uh, moisture field right here, this uh, area of moisture is just walling up right, right there with that uh, tremendous outflow, that high pressure, that very strong high pressure is uh, just walling up right there. It can't get anywhere. It can't go past that, that uh, this zone they've got set up. Likewise, this uh, uh, jet stream moisture is trying to dive down, but <clears throat> we can see that everything is dissipating right here in this area. And uh, so we've got no rain in the forecast. They are, they, that is the transmitter operators are preventing uh, any moisture from getting into uh, Southern Cal California once again. And we can see a uh, very straight edge along here, fairly straight, and also right down on this uh, developing system. This is that upper level low. Let's take a look at the jet stream map real quick. We have uh, flow right down through uh, off of uh, Washington, Oregon, and into California, and then suddenly it stops, and that's where all that high pressure is installed, which is blocking the tropical flow as well as uh, this river of water right here. Okay, let's look next at the uh, surface analysis map. We can see that we've got a, a uh, Hurricane 4 storm right here, 968 millibar moving to the northeast. Got a big cold front here, which is going to be blocked by that area of uh, installed high pressure. And we have a trough shown right off the, uh, right over the coast of California. Okay, let's finish that. And we're looking at the uh, Western US uh, water vapor loop. And we can see what's happening right here. They are not letting any of this tropical moisture mix with this cold uh, air that's moving down. We've got, I think I mentioned, we've got 50 degrees right now. And so uh, they are trying to maintain a channel all through this area to separate this tropical flow and uh, what's happening here. We've got the jet stream diving down. Now, I don't have the uh, SSCC water vapor map pulled up, but there's a lot of chemtrail spraying going on right through here. We can actually see some of the streaks uh, during this loop all through this. Uh, moisture field. There's a lot of chemtrails uh, spraying going on. And we saw a lot of chemtrails in the skies today over Los Angeles. Um, <clears throat> get that refreshed. Okay, this is the uh, the IR map, the rainbow map for the western U.S. We can see all that outflow here where that high pressure has been installed, clearing everything out. We've got a lot of moisture here in, over the uh, Rocky Mountains and, and, and all through these uh, mountain states. And uh, some of that is getting into Eastern California, the high pressure. They're trying to keep that all out of uh, California to prevent the rain. And they're doing a pretty, pretty damn good job of, of uh, stopping the rain. These people have to be uh, held accountable. Have to, we have to know, we have to find out who these people are. And the way we do that is we educate other people. We tell everybody we know about the, the timing of the chemtrails. Once people start understanding the specific timing of these jets getting out in spring, and they know the pattern, that is when we have a moisture field moving in, the jets are always up spraying. Unless they, allow, unless they decide to allow a little bit of rain in, then we will not see the chemtrail spraying. So that's the key thing, is the timing of the aerosol spraying. And when we had that rain here uh, you know, a week and a half ago, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was on the 19th or the 20th of November. We had an inch and a quarter, roughly. Uh, there was no spring in the area of, of uh, L.A. And that allowed that rain to, uh, those clouds to rise and generate precipitation. Now, out over here the same day, we saw a lot of chemtrails. But people have to understand the specific timing of the chemtrail spring is key to understanding at least half of this big uh, operation. Of course, the other half is these are, are the uh, transmitters, which are uh, superheating these storms, like what we're seeing right here. 
and destroying hurricanes and all that. So that's that's uh, what's happening. That's the report. You can see right here what's going on. This is a very strong high pressure, which is just pushing, bulldozing this uh, moisture back away from, from this uh, weather that's diving down on the, uh, on the jet stream right here. Okay, so that is the report, and uh, we'll do another one later.